a year since legalization. Food trucks, restaurants on wheels bring a new dining experience. Financial innovation that created something out of nothing. Meet a new future presented by virtual currencies. The Seoul government's policies for women's safety aim to create a city where everyone feels safe. Farming with a smartphone? Smart Farms cutting edge technology meets agriculture. Mouth watering dishes, usually served in luxury restaurants, are now available out on the streets. Food trucks are giving rise to a new culinary culture in Korea. <laughs> One year has passed since the food truck operation was legalized in Korea. Four Angles looks at the changes in the industry and the challenges that lie ahead. This area around a college campus is bustling with young people, and the hottest eating spot here is not a restaurant but a food truck. Its signature menu is the savory Mexican taco with kimchi. But it's very unique to see this in Korea and it's amazing. I really love it. Since Korea's kimchi is the main ingredient, the food truck is aptly named Kimchi Bus. Kimchi goes into almost all the items sold in this truck, as insisted by the owner, Ryu Shi Young. He traveled to 212 cities and 34 countries in this bus to publicize kimchi to the world. Word spread about the tasty kimchi-based dishes, and now even foreigners are hunting down the food truck. Uh, my sister, actually a few weeks ago, sent me a message about a Korean food truck that she found in Durham, North Carolina. Yeah, five or ten years ago, you wouldn't find any Korean food now. You know, you can find some kind, some uh, like specialty restaurants that have Korean food, so it's becoming more popular, I think. In the U.S., where countless food trucks are in business, one of the most sought-after mobile eats is Korean food. But such popularity is yet to be seen in Korea. Not only was there a preconception that food trucks are unsanitary, but food truck operation was illegal in Korea. But last March, the president herself requested government officials to relax unnecessary regulations to pump up the economy. Aspiring entrepreneurs can set up their food truck once the Korea Transportation Safety Authority approves the vehicle refitting and it passes a safety inspection. As entrepreneurs with limited resources jump into the food truck business, the market for vehicle alteration began to thrive and subsequently generated new jobs. Street-side parking, which used to be illegal, was permitted at locations approved by the government. Also, a government support program is underway for young people to open food trucks on college grounds. An increasing number of people opt for food trucks since they can open up eateries at low cost. 일반 매장보다 저렴한 가격으로 창업을 할수 있고요. 어, 이동성이 편한 거겠죠, 아무래도. 
However, location restrictions are still a problem. 밖에서 장사하는 건 아직 불법이거든요. 그러니까 이런 자리 선정을 하는 게 제일 힘들죠. Parking permits are not granted for areas with lots of traffic and floating population. Most of the time, the food trucks have to park at secluded spots. So food truck owner Yi Jae-min decided to make a winning move with a high-end menu and a unique ambiance. The most important means of food truck publicity is social networking sites. 뭐 장소 공개나 메뉴 같은 공개는 인스타그램이란 SNS를 통해서 올리거든요. 그래서 핸드폰이나 그런 것들을 통해서 손님들이랑 소통을 하고 있죠. 네, 너 태그해서 올릴게. Thanks to SNS advertising, in just three months since opening, E's food truck was cited as the number one eatery people wanted to try out. 경험을 토대로 뭐 자그마나 원 테이블 레스토랑 같은 걸 추, 이제 다음 단계로 생각하는 게 그거거든요. 뭐 분위기도 좋고 이런 말들도 되게 많이 올라오거든요. 그런 게 이제 긍정적으로 바뀌어가는 과정인 것 같아요. A year has passed since food truck rules were relaxed. Food trucks are expected to bring more variety and diversity to Koreans' dining out experience. Each era had its own trade system. In ancient times, some things inconceivable by today's standards were used to pay for goods. But advances in economy have produced simpler and more convenient currencies. Now there are virtual currencies that are neither tangible nor visible. Four Angles explores the reality of virtual currencies. With advances in technology, means of payment have taken on various forms. Among them, Bitcoin is among the easiest, since it simply requires QR code scanning. This new invisible currency can be used like cash. First released in 2009, Bitcoin is called the world's first virtual currency. Bitcoin is purely online, and um, everyone in the world shares a common database. Bitcoin is not issued by a bank, but distributed through computers. A user downloads a Bitcoin generating program made public as open source by the developer. Once the user selects the coin generation option, bitcoins are distributed randomly to people running the same software. This process is called mining, because it resembles the act of mining for gold. And just like gold, people can buy it and spend it to purchase goods and services. In order to prevent depreciation stemming from increased currency volume, the number of bitcoins the user is allowed to mine is limited to 21 million. Since this digital currency is not country-specific, it is accepted all across the globe. This is an example of uh, using bitcoins to pay online. Here I can buy Spider-Man for 2001. So I will select Bitcoin and click on purchase. So I have my Bitcoin wallet. I just scan the QR code like that. And then it automatically has the correct amount to pay. I click OK. So I just paid about 2,001 um, using Bitcoin. Having created something out of nothing, digital currency Bitcoin is finding an increasing number of uses. Okay. There are even Bitcoin exclusive ATMs, allowing Bitcoin users to sell theirs or buy some more. Bitcoin accounts can be created on smartphones or computers, wherever electronic wallets can be installed. 
but no personal information is required, thus ensuring anonymity. Since Bitcoin transactions do not involve banks, users don't have to worry about fees or exchange rates. Bitcoin is finding more applications, including gift certificates. However, experts warn that Bitcoin's anonymity makes the currency vulnerable to illegal transactions. This is a key study. 혹은 범죄 수단의 회피를 위한 어떤 수단으로 이용됐을 경우 비상 상황에 대해서 아무런 규제나 뭐 보호 장치가 없기 때문에 그 가치를 좀 보호해 줄수 있는 법 제도적인 어떤 정비가 좀 우선되어야 되지 않나라고 생각을 하고 있습니다. So foreign governments are initiating Bitcoin related legislation. For instance, the UK has designated Bitcoin as an official currency and the US levies income tax on Bitcoin acquisition. IT technology is expanding the virtual currency market. The latest buzz in the Korean digital currency market is UN Coin. UN Coin은 이제 사용만 해도 일정 수수료를 어, 적립해 가지고 UN 환경 기금으로 기부되게끔 설계되어 있는데 어, UN NGO 단체의 그 여러 가지 다양한 사업들 지원되는 프로젝트를 갖다 수행하는 데 도움을 주도록 만들어졌습니다. UN Coin was created to support the UN affiliated NGO. Currently, UN Coin Foundation is operated in Korea and 128 other countries around the world. Experts assess that UN Coin is pioneering a new paradigm of virtual currency. 금융 산업 발전하면서 또 핀테크한 산업과 연관이 되어서 유통이 어떤 그런 편의성이 굉장히 이제 기존 화폐와 달리 상당히 높기 때문에 이러한 점들이 향후 더 발달될 가능성이 있다 이런 점에 주목을 하는 것 같습니다. Virtual currencies know no borders and the whole world is waiting to see whether a new universal means of financial transactions has arrived. So alleys are changing. There are now various features to ensure safety for women. Ingenious safety measures incorporated into our daily lives are protecting women and making them feel safe. Let's take a look at Korea's globally recognized policies for women's safety and where they should be headed in the future. Half of the world population is women, but too many of them are still subjected to poverty and violence. To address the problem, the United Nations established the Commission on the Status of Women in 1946 to promote women's rights and has been urging countries to resolve this issue through national policies. UN이 추구하고 있는 여성 정책은 여성 폭력 종식의 중요성을 알리고 그다음에 그 여성 폭력이 그의 원인과 그 결과가 무엇인지를 그전 시민들이 알수 있는 이런 그 교육 홍보에 이제 힘쓰고 있고요. Korea also started taking part in the commission as a member nation in 1993. The government has initiated various policies at the national level to protect women from gender discrimination and violence. But the keenest focus is placed on safety. The 25 governing districts of Seoul are pulling their resources to maintain public order and ensure safety for women. During the late night hours when sex crimes occur most frequently, this seemingly ordinary phone booth made of reinforced glass turns into a safe shelter. When you press a bell, the door locks automatically and immediately connects you to the police call center. 사람 없는 밤에 누가 쫓아오는 느낌이 들었을 때 걸어가면서 전화하기 좀 힘들잖아요. 그럴 때 이런 공간에서 안전하게 전화 통화를 하면 많이 도움이 될것 같아요. Alleyways, which may be safe during the day, become desolate and intimidating at night. They are one of the places where women are afraid to walk alone. 밤늦게 귀가할 때 아, 저뿐만 아니라 모든 여성들이 마찬가지인데요. 그러니까 어두운 길을 들어갈 때 혹시 누가 튀어나오지 않을까 그런 안전에 대한 부담감 그런 것들 있죠. In fact, a study found that 50% of women living in Seoul have been chased by someone near residential areas. After extensive discussions, together with the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency and women's groups, the Seoul city government launched an escort system for women. It's been running for three years already. 
When a woman calls a district office 30 minutes before her arrival, a team of two escorts meet up with her at the appointed location. Any woman living in Seoul can request the service. The service is provided between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m., the hours reportedly posting the highest sex crime rate. We don't have this kind of service in Peru. It's the, just when I came here in Korea, I feel really sad because they have this kind of people that help foreigners especially. The city's steady implementation of women's policies has led to the Metropolitan Government's winning the first place award at the UN Public Service Awards held in Medellin, Colombia last June. A panel of judges for the annual UN Public Service Awards evaluates administrative services and policies of public agencies around the world and gives awards for the most outstanding policies. The city's efforts to keep women safe are seen everywhere around us. The most well-publicized program is the safety houses for women connected to convenience stores that are open 24-7. When a woman in danger enters a store, the owner presses an emergency bell. The store's address is relayed immediately to the GPS system of the nearest police cruiser. This system is 그 편의점이 24시간 운영을 하기 때문에 신속하게 어, 신고를 해서 자기 보호가 어, 될수 있는 그런 좋은 시스템이라고 볼수 있습니다. With a spike in the number of single-person households, women living alone welcome safe delivery pickup boxes. Packages are delivered to these lockers instead of the home. 혼자 있을 때 택배함 이렇게 받기가 좀 꺼려지기도 했는데 택배함이 있으니까 안심하고 받을 수도 있고. When a package is delivered, the locker number and password are sent to the recipient's cell phone, and she can pick it up within 48 hours. A service costing just a dollar. Web-like alleys feature crime prevention designs, including 69 numbered streetlights and emergency bells so that anyone in danger can notify their location quickly. I learned also that safe commuting is one of the services conducted by the Seoul city government and it is necessary to acknowledge that a society that promotes the well-being and protection of women also promotes the well-being and happiness of all the members of the entire community. Korea's efforts to protect women's safety and rights will continue until all women are free from fear and danger. Smartphone is changing the farming industry. Farmers are now able to control everything remotely, from planting to harvesting, with a simple touch. Smart farms are the result of using agriculture and technology. Four Angles looks at the future of the ever-evolving Korean agriculture. Advances in cutting-edge technology are changing the rural communities. For instance, this drone helicopter used for pest control has considerably lightened the workload for farmers. 사람이 뿌리면 한 3, 4시간. 음, 이거 무인회기로 했을 경우는 한 1, 20분? The drone has cut down pesticide and labor costs by about 30%. It flies three meters up from the ground to spray the pesticide more thoroughly and efficiently than humans can. 결정적으로 이건 약효가 더 좋습니다. 이거는 원액 가까이 넣는 거라 효과도 더 빠르고요. The Korean government is providing full technical support to open up a new future for Korean rural community. Creative economy centers were launched across the nation, and the Smart Farm project, which combines agriculture and IT, is well underway. IoT와 농업, ICT와 농업이 결합돼서 결국은 최첨단의 농업.
발전되어지는 거고 이게 아마 창조경제 농업에 있어서의 어떤 전형적인 모습이 아닐까 이렇게 생각하고 있습니다. Kang Jun Ho has seen the most profound changes in his 20-year career ever since his farm was selected as the first pilot smart farm. 이게 이제 이게 이제 인터넷 이제 쉽게 얘기해서 이제 스마트폰하고 연결하는 그런 IP고요. Through his smartphone application, he can easily check even minute changes in the greenhouse environment. Just a click on his smartphone opens the greenhouse ceiling automatically. 일하다가 다시 나와서 이제 개폐기를 올렸다 내려라 필요 없이 그 자리에서 이제 내리고 올려도 이렇게 해서 이렇게 일, 일을 하니까 더 시간 절약되고 더 일이 더 쉽게 끝나고. This smartphone-based remote control allows the farmer to maintain optimal settings for crops, solving the chronic labor shortage problem in rural communities. 지금 현재는 이제 스마트폰으로 이제 다 이제 온 농장을 관리할 수 있기 때문에 어디를 놀러 가더라도 마음 편히 이제 시간을 보내고 즐겁게 놀다 이렇게 오는 게참 편리한 것 같습니다. He can check and oversee crop conditions anywhere, anytime. This smart farming system is to be applied to 8,000 farms by 2017. Since the introduction of smart farms, productivity has gone up by more than 20%, while costs have declined. Smart farm을 이용해서 저렴한 비용으로 노동력을 절감할 수 있도록 모델을 만드는 게 일차적인 사업이고요. 농업 벤처를 육성을 통해 가지고 앞으로 생명 산업과 농업 산업이 융합하는 벤처 산업 육성하는 데까지 고민하고 있습니다. A large number of studies are being conducted on next generation smart farms as well. The key to the future of smart farming lies beyond the automatic management of cultivation and involves accumulating big data concerning the farming environment. 검증된 데이터, 데이터를 축적을 해서 이것을 기반으로 한 매뉴얼을 만들고자 합니다. 그 매뉴얼을 기반으로 이렇게 키우십시오라고 처방을 해드릴 수 있는 거겠죠. The plan is to record the changes in each growth phase and to find the optimal cultivation environment. The data will then be distributed to farmers. 그 열매가 얼마큼 많이 맺힐 수 있나라는 것을 저희가 그 예측하고 그 수치를 그 제공할 수 있는 고추의 그 생육 모델링을 만드는 것입니다. A 3D camera records the pepper pots every day to keep track of the plant's nutritional status and the changes occurring in each growth stage. These detailed records will help build a precise database. A wide range of data, such as temperatures, humidity levels, and amount of sunlight, is analyzed to determine under which conditions the crops thrive and how superior varieties are produced. 원예 작물과 다른 작물들에 대해서도 이 데이터를 이용해서 그 농가들에게 그 최적의 재배 환경을 그 제공할 수 있는 하나의 그 툴이 될수 있다고 생각합니다. Smart farms are evolving continuously with implementation of new technology. They are opening a new phase in the Korean agricultural industry.